In today's video, we find out which is better, the new Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary or Legendary Collection 2. Time to What's up guys, we're back with another Versus video where we find out if two of the new Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary can beat two of the Legendary Collection 2. So I have four total boxes here, which means we're going to be opening quite a bit of packs. There's 12 here, there's 10 here. So it's 22 packs, but these are like pretty loaded packs. Plus we've got the 25th Anniversary Starlights. Let's see which one's better. But before we get into it, our giveaway is every card pulled in this video that includes the promos, that includes everything. So you guys can win that. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know who you think will win 25th Anniversary or GX. All right, let's start it off with Legendary Collection 2, one of the two game boards, and then we'll swap back and forth. So first of all, we have have our promo pack this is probably gonna be about ten dollars value towards the gx side then we have five mega packs which always have some pretty amazing value inside with secret rares ultra rares and super rares guaranteed inside first up legendary collection 2 dual academy years what will the first pack have inside no pack trick here because there's so many foils elemental hero neos very nice we got a hero Klinos right off the bat super rare and then a secret rare dandelion i know that's worth over a dollar and then a dark fusion that's about 250 to three dollars and then a Steam Healer Rare, so not bad. There's some good commons in here as well. Infernal Gainer, maybe one of them, can't remember. All right, next pack, Legendary Collection 2. A lot of decent cards from uh, like two to 20 bucks in here. There's a lot of them that are around that value. We have Elemental Hero Heat. Let's do uh, that Lady Heat. Oh, that isn't Lady Heat, that's just Heat. Hero Heat, okay, there's two different ones. Reflector Ray, Elemental Hero Wild Heart, Elemental Hero Grand Neos, very nice. Elemental Hero Sparkman, Alternate Art Secret Rare, very beautiful. Elements here are Divine Neos, also pretty cool. And then a Gladiator's Return, another good one. So, so far, the prices are racking up. Like, this is going to be tough for 25th anniversary to actually pull this out. I'd say that the uh, Legendary Collection 2 is definitely the favorite here. That's a Judgment Dragon. That's probably worth something. We have a Destiny Signal, Blade Edge. There's the Judgment Dragon again. DD Crow Super Rare. Yeah, this is what I said. Shining Flare Wingman Secret Rare. And then an Ice Queen. Wow, these are insane. These are so good. I love opening Legendary Collection 2 and, and 3 and 4. Really, all, all three of those. Even Kaiba. Really, pretty much every Legendary Collection besides, uh, you know, the original and what we're opening today. I like opening those two, but, like, in terms of value, they're not there. Uh, unless we pull something crazy today. We'll find out. Storm Neos, I think that's actually money as a common. Sapphire Pegasus, super rare. Malicious Edge, Secret Rare. Look at that. That looks insane. And then Future Fusion, another great one for Edison decks and stuff like that. One more pack of our first Legendary Collection 2. Yeah, it's been a pretty solid one. They've pulled pretty well. We're looking at good pulls. I don't know if Legendary Collection 25th has a chance, but we'll find out. Elemental Hero Recharge. Elemental, I keep adding Hero to everything. Our Righteous Justice. Prisma, I know this is a few bucks. This, I, like the original, I don't remember what, where it comes from. It's like an Ultra. It's very expensive. Grand Neos, we pulled that twice as a Super. And... Phantom Sky Blaster, eh, not great. It's not terrible. Light Garoth, Light Swarm Warrior. Okay, so overall, a pretty solid performance there. Let's see. Well, I mean, they got another one, but first half of their performance. Now on to Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. Don't worry, this is only the first half because there will be a second of both boxes, but let's see what we, what the uh, 25th Anniversary Rare we can get. All right, so we have our promo pack, which is going to be about 15 bucks, I would say, because they have the uh, 25th Anniversary inside. These regular ones would always go for about 10, so I would say you add about five bucks for whatever the uh, promo is. Ooh, we might have, might have had a little reveal there. What could it be? Slifer, Wing Dragon of Raw, Blue Eyes. What's our 25th anniversary rare going to be? It's such a long name. You got to say that every time. And it's the Obelisk, the Tormentor. My personal favorite of the six in the set. That's amazing, guys. An Obelisk, the Tormentor. You guys can win that. Don't forget that. All right, here are our six packs. We're going to need some good pulls to have a chance here because otherwise it's not going to be close. Let's see what we can get. Can we get a secret rare? We're going to need some Ultra, some Secrets, some really good quality commons. Fairy of the Spring, Gravity X, Rarl, Dark Scorpion combination. And we got an Archfiend's Roar. So we're already started off pretty weak. Every pack and, uh, you know, the mega packs of those is like, you know, money. It's going to be tough because also those Legendary Collection GXs are worth about 75 to 100 bucks each. And these are only worth about 30 something each. So naturally, they're a little bit of a disadvantage. But you can always hope, you can always believe, Delinquent Duo. And that's one of the best cards in Magic Ruler in terms of value that's how you do it that's how you beat legendary collection gx the underdogs coming through in the clutch it's also going to help that the 25th anniversary rare it makes the promos a little bit more valuable we're guesstimating on what it's worth right now but i think that it's fair to say it's about five more dollars whoa what is this we got a misprint right across a misprint common that is not coming off that is straight printed into the card that's pretty cool 
Line of Intervention. Ooh, Ruxin Special. Driving Snow. That's part of the giveaway, by the way. Dark Bat. Attack and Receive. Michizuri. And... Uh, Buster Blader! Ultra Rare! That is how you do it! Old School Ultras coming in clutch. We got Duo. We got Buster Blader in our very first box. Do they have a chance to pull off the upset? This could be crazy. Only two packs into Legendary Collection. One. Wow. Okay. Invasion of Chaos. We know what we're expecting from you. So make it happen. Soul Tigre. Torpedo Fish, Thing in the Crater, Soul Absorption, Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell, Molten Zombie, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Compulsor Evacuation. All right, what else we got? Garen and Dora. I don't know what I was saying there. On to Legend of Blue Eyes. There's nothing in there anyway. All right, Legend of Blue Eyes. Give us that Blue Eyes White Dragon. This could change everything. Mammoth Graveyard, Witty Phantom, Seal of Gregrotto number one, Trial of Nightmare got a reprint. Very cool. Hard Armor, Tie Home. Oh, Rux and Spencer right into the right Geki! Original, L-O-B, I mean, kind of original, reprint of an original, how about that? L-O-B, Raigeki, wow, what an opening so far. I think the OG might actually be in the lead. It's gonna be close because the uh, GX pulled so many nice secret rares and stuff, but last pack, Metal Raiders. Oh wait, I only did two. What will you give us? Will it be the Pequeno Moth? Will it be the Cousin Moth, the Grande Moth, even the Cocoon of Evolution or the Armored Zombie with really effective armor? Kojikaze, Ground Attacker Bugroth, Hoshingen, and a free Kishin Powered. All right. Not in that Metal Raiders, but still three out of six foils was pretty insane. All right. Back to Legendary Collection 2. You guys have been seeing on the screen what the score is. I think it's pretty close, which is pretty amazing. I mean, the underdogs have been really pulling it out here. Let's see if Legendary Collection GX can take the lead back assuming they're behind it might they might have a slight lead and if they do let's see if they can bolster it okay they've got their promo pack again it's another 10 bucks added on now they have five packs to go they got to get the lead back before it goes back to legendary collection so that they can have a chance here we go destiny Arrow, dread servant double dude marine neos i think is like two bucks we got prisma also a couple bucks clear world super rare okay kind of iffy flame wingman now that is definitely a couple of bucks Cyber Valley might actually be something because it's decent in some formats and then Poison Rose as well. All right, five packs left or four packs left and then we have Legendary Collection 1 with a chance to come back because I feel like now after the promo pack, after the Flame Wing Man, they're probably behind again. Hero Blast, Aqua Dolphin, Yaichi, Clay Charge is not a super. Rare Value, that is a super. Okay, we have a Banisher of the Radiance, Secret Rare, also a few bucks. And Flute of Summoning, Karibo, a pretty cool card as well with a Destiny Hero. Defender, not bad, an okay pack. I don't think there was anything insane, insane in there, but there's some good stuff potentially in these next three. We have Transcendent Wings for the Karibos. Ice Master, Change of Hero, Reflector Ray, a Reflector Ray. We got Wildheart. Aqua Neo, super rare, very nice. He has a very cool... Like, uh, it looks like you're inside of a computer, you know, like in Yu-Gi-Oh, that's what it looks like. And we have a, oh, you bell, the ultimate nightmare, a nice secret rare as well. And then a proto cyber dragon ultra with a rosebud and a topaz tiger. Two packs left, legendary collection two. What will we get? Will it be epic? Come on. We have elemental hero burst and tricks, flare neos, glow moss. That could be worth something. Uh, Zanji, angel city rainbow ruins, Card Ejector Super Rare, and Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman for the second time, then an Electrum. So honestly, pretty good. Ocean's not a bad card either. Our final pack of Legendary Collection 2. They definitely have the lead now. It's gonna come down to what Legendary Collection 1 has done. Wing Kariba, or will it? They will do in the future. Voltic, Six Samurai, D-Counter, Gladiator Beast, Heraclinos, Necro Garden. I think this card's not even a dollar, so that's actually a bad pull for them. Rainbow Dark Dragon. Okay, that was not a great last pack, so it's all gonna come down to this last box. Our final box of Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary. Now we need to pull some crazy cards. All right, our promo pack worth about 15 bucks, something like that, so we'll add that on. I think they're still probably behind by a little bit here, even after that $15 add-on. I don't know the exact number, but we'll find out. Let's see what promos they got. Slifer, Wing Dragon of Raw, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and another Obelisk the Tormentor, doubling up on the best looking one, in my opinion. All right, guys, it all comes down to this. Six packs for glory. Dark Crisis, will you be able to pull off the comeback? Can we get a Skill Drain Rare and an Exodia Necros? Here we go. Spell Reproduction, Ray of Hope. Arsenal Summoner, Kelbeck, that will play a little uh, Tier Limits and a Shizu. We got Twin Swords, Dark Bishop Archfiend, and Arsenal Robber. We're being robbed from the Arsenal. 
Five packs to go. We're gonna need some big pulls for the OG to come back. Come on, Spell Ruler. You already gave us one of the best pulls, probably the best pull of the opening, Delinquent Duo. Wall Shadow, Jiggin Bakadon, Crab Turtle, Dark Zebra, Full Kraken, Boar Soldier, Snake Fang, we've got an Amoeba, and we have a painful choice, another super rare. I really don't know how these supers are gonna be priced. Maybe they're worth a dollar, not too sure. Four packs to go, Pharaoh Servant, a Jinzo could really change the tide here. We've already gotten a Buster Blader today. If we pull Buster Blader and Jinzo, you guys remember how long it took us to pull Buster Blader? <laughs> we pulled one today. Armored Glass, we have a Mr. Volcano, pointy pointy finger guy. It's like called by the grave, the Eye of Truth, Cold Wave, Three Headed Guido, Spike Bot. Thousand Eyes Idol, good common. Magic Drain, and we have a all-seeing white Tigre. All right, Tigre. Three packs to go, Invasion of Chaos. We're gonna need, we're sending, we're sending it over. We need some luck. Come on, bless us with something crazy. Gora Turtle of Illusion, Yellow Luster Shield. We've got a stumbling, we're stumbling to the finish. Will we be able to get all the way there? Ojama Yellow, Coach Goblin, Burning Algae, Enraged Battle Ox, can we get a foil? Oh, it's a dedication through light and darkness. Another super rare. I feel like these supers are not going to reach a dollar. And in that case, we are in big trouble. Two packs to go. Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Metal Raiders. Two of the top sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. Will they be able to bring us back? We need an ultra rare here. We need blue eyes. We need a secret rare. That would be pretty good. Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Trihorn, Guy the Dragon Champion. Come on, Hinotama. Hinotama soul back to back. The Hinotamas. We have Umi. I wonder if the uh, the slot machine and his little brother are in back to back now. Now that they've reprinted them. Sparks, Raised Body Heat, Vile Germs, Armed Ninja, and finally, a Mountain. All right, guys. This is it. This is the very end. Metal Raiders. We need something insane. One, two, three, four. No, not four. Three. Don't do that. I'm used to four. Armin, Armin Lizard. Can we get the Petite Moth? Can we get the Gay Guardian? Paralyzing Potion. Mega Thunderball. Protector of the Throne. Hiyasube. Little Chimera. Can we get something in our last pack of Metal Raiders to bring us back? A Solemn Judgment! And that is a good one. And then there's a Mystic Horseman after that. Ultra Rare. Is it enough to bring it back? I don't know. Here's the total score from both. This was very, very close. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle J, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.